viewers welcome to accent tv and we will discuss about the timeline for the coronavirus and what's the spiritual significance and probably when it could possibly end as everyone is already an expert on this subject i would like to dive deep into the topic at hand instead of describing what coronavirus is and how it spreads as of now almost every country has cases of people that have been affected by the coronavirus some more than the others some countries may be affected earlier or later based on their prior collective destinies based on the karmic principle which states as you sow so shall you reap the more adverse the prior karmas of any given region the greater will be its vulnerability to the spread of the coronavirus also the greater the spiritual impurity in any area the more susceptible are the people in that region to contract the coronavirus all of us are more or less to blame for this increase in spiritual impurity in the environment spiritual impurity can be enhanced due to a number of reasons such as lack of spiritual practices greed and materialism spiritually inappropriate trends and traditions etc so the main question in all our minds is that how will this virus end so to answer your question the pandemic is just a beginning of a series of events which might include natural and man-made disasters that might plague humanity for over the period of next 4 years the period will culminate with the third world war from 2024 onwards will begin a new era while the world will be still dealing with unprecedented levels of destruction and loss of life both from climate change and the third world war it will be most likely a reset button for humanity being given a second chance to make the world a better place another relevant question around this is why now for this we would need to take a step back and understand the larger picture unfolding and something known as the time factor everything happens as per time and everything goes as per the cycle of time according to the yogic philosophy the whole universe can be divided into two main categories prakriti which includes maya and illusion and purusha which is reality according to this philosophy everything which is changeable which is not infinite is the part of maya purusha on the other hand is the only reality it is the universe's only unchangeable element the self or the soul everything within prakriti the illusory world consists of the three gunas or qualities these three qualities are present in all objects in various degrees one quality is always more present or dominant than the others the three gunas are sattva which is purity rajas which is activity and tamas which is darkness or destruction the gunas are present in everything humans food animate and inanimate objects the cycles of the universe are similar to the guna system which goes through the stages of creation sustenance and destruction as we approach the end of the cycle the spiritual impurity starts to build up to a greater extent and it reaches its highest levels in the environment which eventually leads to a destruction of the cycle and the advent of a new one as of march 2020 we are approaching the end of a cycle of the universe where after 4 years that is in 2024 a new cycle will commence therefore spiritual impurity is currently at its peak humanity due to the lack of spiritual practices is spiritually unprepared and hence 
easily affected by the build up of spiritual impurity as a result overcome by the spiritual impurity